Boca Soldier Sound Center, and today we get a backstage pass at the MRI research that goes inside. All right, follow me. Well, hi guys. Hi Katya. Oh, hey Katya. So I heard you do focused ultrasound surgery without touching the patient. That's right. There's no staples, incisions, stitches, or anything like that. Let me show you how it works. So this big donut is our MRI scanner, and it has a magnet that's 100,000 times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. We can use this to visualize the patient's brain during the treatment. Stephen, why don't you pull out the table here and show them the transducer? Sure thing, yeah. Okay, so what we have here is our special transcranial focused ultrasound system. Behind this black membrane is 1,024 individual ultrasound emitters. So let's say someone has a disease in their brain. What they can do is lie down in this helmet and this helmet will emit all of those ultrasound beams and direct them right at the part of the brain of the patient's brain that's diseased. When those beams converge, they heat up just that part that's diseased and cook it or kill it, leaving the rest of the brain completely unharmed and perfectly fine. Well, Helen, that treatment looked like it went really smoothly and went very well. Why do we need to do research in this field? Well, Katya, unfortunately, we still have problems with visualizing the skull. Um, and because 70% of the energy emitted by the transducer is absor absorbed directly to the skull, it's very important that we monitor it. Uh, especially in treatments where our treatment envelope is near the skull, that can cause damage and heating. The reason it's so hard to image the bone is you can imagine the MRI scanner as a big radio tower, and it's sending out radio waves into the body at the perfect frequency to excite the water molecules that we have. And then when the water molecules are excited, they'll pick up that energy and then slowly re-emit it, and that's what we measure in the scanner. But bone doesn't have that many water molecules, so that's one issue, we're not going to get much signal from it. And second, bone gets rid of that energy so fast, we don't even have a chance to measure it. So we've been working on using a pulse sequence, uh, a measurement technique that is super fast, and that's a non-trivial task. And also that signal we get from the bone can tell us uh, information about the temperature of it, but we need to verify this with more experiments. MRI is not just a way to take pretty pictures of the brain and to diagnose if something's wrong, but it can also guide a surgery. A surgeon can use it to make decisions while they're trying to operate on the brain. And that is our magnetic moment. <laughs> Woo. Okay.